direction. Okay, let's go over to Israel. Is that it, Aaron? Good. Hello, go ahead. It's great to see you all. Uh, I'll try to share my screen. Uh, so just very briefly, um, some of our recent activities uh, were uh, around uh, Work Technology 2050. Um, we organized uh, two very successful uh, workshops in Israel that uh, contributed some inputs to the recommendations for actions uh, that were included in the final report. And later I presented the scenarios and the work in several occasions in Israel and also wrote uh, an article in a new journal that is devoted to utopias and dystopias. So I published an article there in Hebrew about the scenarios which are between utopias and dystopias, as you know, uh, which now makes me think about maybe possible future uh, activity of the Millennium Project um, based on the current situation and the COVID scenarios, maybe the uh, work technology 2050 scenarios should be maybe somehow modified or updated with the information what's going on now, because this surely will affect the future of work. It is already affecting. So I guess that if we would write the scenarios from the start now, they would look different. Uh, in under the influence of the experience of the current experience of the pandemics, just just a thought. Um, I will skip the uh, previously we had several activities about the future of terrorism that uh, maybe I will want to add some words uh, later and uh, some uh, uh, previous stuff and the next activities will be uh, again uh, presenting in some more forums uh, uh, the result of the work tech technology 2015. Uh, by the way, I also was invited to present it in the, uh, in the Israeli Democracy Institute. They have a forum uh, on working on the future of work. So I presented the results there and I uh, participate uh, in their continuing activities. And uh, now we are work, uh, contributing to the COVID uh, uh, RTD. I sent the invitation to several experts in Israel. I hope they will respond. I don't know yet. And uh, we are very, uh, we would like very much to cooperate with other uh, nodes on uh, new proposals, uh, proposals to European uh, uh, Union projects, Horizon 2020, uh, Horizon Europe, and the next programs. So we're looking forward to cooperation and uh, also the dissemination of the state of the future index in Israel. Uh, and uh, I think I will uh, now fin finish with that. Uh, Excellent. Thank you very much. Yara, do you have something to add to that? If not, we'll go on to Nando's in uh, Greece. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I unmuted myself. Ah, good. I just, okay. I wanted to say that, uh, as you saw, we are dealing much with the future of terrorism. And it's interesting to see that, at least from the socio-economical point of view, we found some similarities between COVID-19 and terrorism, um, how people behave and react and how we live with terrorism now and we will live with COVID-19 in the future. Uh, we also, uh, together with Sir and Elizabeth, we, we did a very wide RTD on what terrorism is and most of the nodes took part in it. Uh, and we will launch a, a new definition of terrorism uh, very shortly. Uh, that's for now. Thank you. Uh, uh, good. I might mention that the book referred to by Aaron on our latest work on terrorism is called Tripping Points, Tripping Points on the Road to um, Terrorist Control of Terrorism. 
Okay. Uh, and it, as opposed to tipping points, which yeah. was a misprint on Aaron's yeah. slide. <laughs> Sorry and, about that. <laughs> and that little R in tripping points is what we're talking about. Those things which can uh, confuse and frustrate the detection of terrorism or mistakes that terrorists themselves can make in order to make themselves more visible and which make themselves more visible. 